This episode of Review Brew is proudly brought to you by Motorprime. South Africans had to wait almost four decades to get their hands on a factory-made right-hand drive Ford Mustang available on the local market. Now, since the early 70s and up until recently, the Ford Mustang wasn't regarded as a particularly brilliant sports car. It was a large engine coupe based on the run-of-the-mill passenger car platform built to cost price budgets. But here it is. This is the 2017 Ford Mustang 5-litre GT Fastback Auto. You're watching The Review Brew with me, Mr. B. What makes a car design a starring attraction? It's a combination of angles, contours and a striking profile that gives a distinctive shape, one that compels throngs of onlookers to gawk at and photograph the vehicle. Supercars have that crowd-pulling power and so does the Ford Mustang. Prospective buyers will need to bear in mind that irrespective of whether you're filling up at a service station or parking at a mall, the 5-litre GT Fastback tends to attract bystanders. Granted, the Mustang is now a novelty, but nonetheless, from its slanted slim headlights, trapezoidal Mustang grille with galloping horse motif, seductively sloped seat pillars, slabby black rear fascia with triple piano key taillights, the Ford captures the imagination and looks striking in its triple yellow finish. It's a dream car for the masses. Getting behind the wheel is a less glamorous affair though, because although there are nifty touches that denotes the Ford's interior as that of a Mustang, seeing that logo on the steering wheel is a thrill in itself. The cabin materials and build quality pale in comparison to those of European sports cars in the Ford's price bracket. Before we head into the interior of the car, I want you to hear this. Sound of a five liter V8 engine. Beautiful, isn't it? Right, let's check out the inside of the car. You can see the dashboard is made of hard plastic, accompanied with some leather. You've got your Mustang logo on the front there since 1964. The interface is rather basic to my liking, and uh, it is touchscreen, so you can change from one to the other audio climate phone, apps, settings, and you have a whole array of other applications for your disposal. The front of it also, we got your minimalistic design on the front, which is rather a good thing if you may think about it. Flip of the switch, your hazards, up and down, simple. As you know, it is an automatic, so you can see, not bad at all. Handbrake on the left side, more closer to the passenger side. Very dangerous, I think, but hey. Also, your cup holders and an ashtray for the smokers out there. You got your center console. Not too shabby. You got your USB port in the front, your cigarette port, and your, where you can also put your charges in. And it also has one in the uh, center console as well. Steering wheel, nice and steady. Mustang logo, a plus. You got your dials on the right and the left to control volume as well as your phone calls. And you can set your settings on the left side and obviously change 
are your settings on the side uh, to control the menu. The speedometer it's all analog with slightly digital in the center and rather basic and very retro kind of vibes we're getting here but hey the mustang is since 1964 it gives a sort of retro uh, and a slight contemporary feel to it as well what about its performance and handling in the current era of forced induction performance machines, the Mustang's 306 kilowatt or 530 newton meters of torque 5 liter V8 with its 6 speed automatic transmission is an anachronism. To expect the beefy but ultimately languid powertrain to deliver the type of responsiveness and tractability of smaller turbocharged motors would be unreasonable. Still, the Mustang is claimed to complete 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds and it emits a characterful, broad-chested and burbling soundtrack in dispatching the sprint benchmark with consummate ease. The exhaust note is not particularly urgent or voluminous, which would be a disappointment to some, but then, as with the ride or handling balance, it's all in keeping with the spirit of the car. There are very few cars that hold so much pent-up emotional and cult appeal than the Ford Mustang. We are happy to conclude that this particular model does not have any shortcomings to render it a complete disappointment. This car delivers easy natured, flexible performance, soulful character and undeniable aesthetic desirability. And we give it a double thumbs up. To find out more information about this car and other luxurious cars, then you can visit Motorpride at www.motorpride.co.za. You've been watching the Review Brew with me, Mr. B. Until next time, look after yourself as well as one another. Take care. Please subscribe, like and follow us on our social media platforms.